Hi gamers, welcome back to another Itch.io free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have the Wizard's Tower, which was created for this narrative game jam thing. It's the creator's first game, and English is in his na native language. So I'm going to try not to pick too much fun at it or anything like that, because he probably did the best he can. And I can't read half the time anyway, so usually, uh, unless it's something that's really funny, I try to stay away from it. In this unnamed world, occupied by people and so many creatures, there's something called magic. This magic is the foundation of this entire world, but only a few people are born with it. Some with unmeasurable quantities, and others with just uh, in, uh, just enough to turn on a candle without it, without fire. I'm gonna correct it in my head if I can. People have to try to understand how this magic works to get a better understanding of the existence of magic itself. But there are people that have that try to use magic for their own purposes. Their own selfish gains! Wars have taken place in this world, since anyone can remember. Power and land are the most common things for that cause these fights. <laughs> but every now and then, there's a, some, there's a bored king trying to, fill, trying to amuse themselves and invade towns without any reason, but to create destruction and chaos. What most people don't know is the real meaning. What most people don't understand is the real meaning behind these wars. There has been an evil force since the creation of time itself, lurking in the shadows, waiting for a reason to be freed from the anger and sadness of living creatures. At the at the minimum, at the smallest opportunity, it will be. Uh, it will allow, it will create a plan convincing a farmer it has been he had been robbed by his neighbor or whisper to a king that there is a a war coming from another land and it should the king should attack first <laughs> but not everything is surrounded by this evil force in this world there are some extraordinary people dedicating their lives to battle against these schemes these people are called wizards there are not many wizards in this world because a wizard is born, it is not made. Oh, it's not born, it is made. Whoops. You think it would be the opposite. The wizard has to pass a very daunting trial and come out of it with a heart full of light. Only a wizard can pass the knowledge to a person who is worthy of fighting the evil and will not succumb to its force. And here is the story of a certain wizard the only one to go against his own kind. Someone who does, did not care for keeping the evil at bay, but to know, to understand even. His own goal is understanding everything he can. So one day he can pass the knowledge to whomever he seems worthy. <laughs> yes. What? What was that? Grr, grr. Oh, it's my stomach. How long has it been? I guess I'll go grab something to eat. <laughs> okay. Talk me into it. Let me read this book. I'll keep reading after I eat something. What is this statue? Okay, we can only interact with a few things, it seems. Okay, let's just leave the room. I tried to check everything, but that didn't seem to be getting me nowhere. We should clean up our papers before we get something to eat. Do 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 do. I like the music in this game. Probably won't get copyright struck, but it's alright. <laughs> what is this? I probably should not go in there right now. Alright, you talked me into it. Maybe right now is not the best time to take a bath. Oh, that's the bathroom. Good to know for future endeavors. Ah, let's summon Satan while we're getting food. Would you like to go to floor one? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not a summon and Satan device. Oh, that's not a pentagram. That's a Star David. What the heck? <laughs> Weird. Okay. Weird Star of David thingy. Pentagram has five points. So this has six. Fun fact. 
Ah, we have our own waterfall. That's nice. Let's go, I'm rich. We're sorry, but the teleportation system is out of service at the moment. What? I just used it. I just teleported. What do you mean? Ah, a wood fireplace. There is no food here, lame. There's no food in here either. What about here? No, what about here? Let's see, what do we have in here? Huh? There's nothing in here. <sighs> is it too late to ask for food? Oh, it's still morning, good. All right, let's do this. Are we using our ESPN? Dear shop owner, I hope this message finds you well. I ran out of supplies for this month and was hoping to know if you could deliver some food to me right now. What is this, DoorDash? My most sincere apologies for an, any inconvenience this might bring to you. And thank you in advance. The wizard! It is I, the wizard! Did you get everything? Good off now. Oh, good. Now off you go. Dang, I need a little whisper thing I can send messages to. Oh, I like this. The camera follows it. That's pretty dope. What? The wizard wants food? We must get it to him right away. Hmm? What is this? Ha ha ha, like always. It's a good thing I already had everything prepared. Oh, no. What a psychic. Let's see. Alright, this should be everything for now. Honey, come here, please. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, Daddy, I'm on my way. Oh, she's the delivery. I got confused because I was like, Honey, I thought he was talking to his wife, and then he's like, Oh, it's my daughter. I was like, Oh, okay. Her name's probably Honey, maybe. Honey, go fetch this basket of. Go deliver this basket of supplies to the wizard, please. Is this all, Daddy? Just for now. I'll give him the rest later. Alright, I'm heading off. Bye, Daddy. Bye! Have a good time. What is that from? American Dad ending? Hello, excuse me, Mr. Wizard. I, I'm here to give you this basket of food. Dot, 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 dot. Hello? Put the basket on the floor and leave. Thank you for your time. He must be shy. Okay. My dad will bring more later. See ya. <laughs> Drop the basket and back away. <laughs> All right, now with this, I can continue my reading. Wonderful. Perfect, now I can continue studying. Dot, 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 dot. I mean, it's not like I don't have the time. After all, I specialize in time magic, so that's OP. Wait, who am I talking to? Probably to me, the player. <sighs> this is what more than 200 years alone gets me. Never mind that. I have to get this thing clear before trying to create what? I have to get this clear before trying to create the, the piece. Now, if time is not a linear thing, then if this goes here, the wizard... What the? The wizard no, uh, known as Elagast spent almost... Uh, his name is Elagast, we got it. Spent almost all his time learning about everything. But as an infinite being, the idea of time was his favorite thing to know. Wizards are immortal. The only way for a wizard to die is to pass is passing their power to another person. Losing power means to become human again. And that was that thought was a scary one for Elagast. Interesting. Many nights he spent hours trying to understand time itself. Why the passing of time was normal for everyone except wizards. If he could understand how time works, maybe other people will live forever as well. And he could have a forever companion. It's an awfully big bed for one person. The only thing he was sure is that at some point he would he would have to give all his knowledge to someone. Why? But I don't want to give what is mine to someone so easy. There has to be a way to do this correctly. If he can live forever, why has he got to pass on anything? I don't understand. I guess if he wanted to die, but... 
The only thing that kept his mind m m more excited than finding the right apprentice was finding a way to manipulate time. At times like... Hmm. At times, this idea was so far from his view, and at <laughs> the most unexpected moment, it could be so close. Wait! What if the way of manipulating time was some could be as something as simple as a clock? No, it can't be that simple. But I could still try with that idea of, of for a device that I had the other day. Ah, we're gonna make a device. Let's go. With this, I will finally be able to grasp time itself and bend it to my will. But, but what will be the point? What is my final goal with this? I don't know. I guess that is not my decision to make. I have to find an apprentice soon. That way I will finally stop talking to my sis- Ah! Is he looking at me? I- I mean, I will have someone to help me search for that important answer. Sweat drop. So I have to finish this, so I can finally focus on the search for my successor. Whoa, we're under attack! Oh, are we finishing the spell? Explosions. It is done! I finally did it! The device is the key to control Kantan. This is the moment that changed everything. The moment that changed Elagast. This is the moment that changed the planet. And the moment that time itself changed. Interesting. Da 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 da. Well, da 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 da. <laughs> I think my knowledge of time has grown more than I expected. I spend what would normally be a year in just a week. And now what? Should I really go outside looking for an apprentice? I think you meant to say spent. Uh, I don't know. Heh. <laughs> After all this time, I might finally start taking my job as a wizard, seriously. And after that, will I just die? After all I have accomplished on my own? What if I use this power of time and become immortal even after I'm no longer a wizard? You know what? I'm sick and tired of just talking to myself. I'm going to go around town looking for someone with the needed light in his, their heart. And, that per and then that person will help me decide what to do next. Yes, that's the best way to do this. It's probably that little girl that discovered the bread. But what if I don't find a person worth the, worthy of these powers? Will I have to move to another place and try to find someone? Or should I wait a couple more hundred years? Ah, this doubt will take me nowhere. All right, let's get going. Can't hurt. God, that face, <laughs> that unibrow. Can't hurt to at least look around the town. <laughs> Well, here goes nothing. Come on, you can do it. You are a wizard, Elagast. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> it's not like something will happen to you. And besides, you can stop time. Some may say you actually can control the world. Wait, don't be absurd. Who could say something so bizarre? Fine, I'll go. About time. Let's go. He didn't go. Go! Oh, I gotta make him go. <laughs> Yes! Shift key makes you sprint, just like the Pokemans. Are you worthy? We're sorry, sir, but the entry to the valley is forbidden at this moment. You got the same thing to say? Okay. What about you? Are you worthy? I'm sorry, but this robe is blocked. Those are some really weird robes. Are you going to a costume party or something? Are you worthy? <laughs> okay. How about- oh. Cutscene. Da, 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 da. I'm here! Now what? Did I go to every corner of this town looking for someone with a heart full of light? I guess that's better than nothing. I just can't. I'd better return to my tower and wait- okay. And wait for a, a couple hundred years more. No, no, no. No! I have to do it now. If I wait anymore, I'll never be able to do this. 
Yes, that's it. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I think the reason why we got to follow the wisp to the shop is because we're supposed to go there and talk to the little girl, but we're going to talk to everybody else first. Are you worthy? I managed to enter this town just before the East Road collapsed. Okay. Are you worthy? If it wasn't I, I, I doing the cleaning, that road would have been clear in no time. Are you worthy? We are sorry, sir, but the teleportation system is not functioning at this moment. Okay. Are you worthy, Mr. Clown? Oh, I can't get to him. Ooh, I'm gonna talk to you, Mr. Clown. You can't stay away from me forever. This will be so much fun. I just need to practice more. Are you worthy? Jeez, it's hot today. I'd better stay under the shadow for a little more. What about you? Come on, brother, let's go play. Oh, I'm in between them. Careful, don't run like that. You be careful. We can't go that way. We can't go this way. We can go this way. Ah, it's an N. This person does not look worthy. Now, where was that place again? Are you a worthy? I wonder if I have time to grab something to eat. I'm not a worthy. Whoa. Move along, this is official guard business. Are you guys feeling worthy over here? What is the meaning of this? I just want to go on the expedition. We have everything in order. Why aren't they letting us pass? Oh dear, oh dear. How am I... How am I going to see my grandchild? Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. This is preposterous. I demand an answer right now. Too bad. They're not letting anyone in. That means if he's going to be late. Who? Can I go into these people's houses? Since they're at the gate, now's the time to loot and plunder. Oh, there's a lot of places in this game. Oh man, I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Not for you. Is everything in order? We're just waiting for him. Who's him? Me? I'm him. I believe. Possibly. Ho ho ho. How long is this kid going to keep me waiting here? Can she see I'm an old person? Huh. And now the bank is closed. Can this day get any worse? I'll be ridiculous. No one stole anything from this bank ever. I heard there's a scheme to rob the bank. I really need to deposit this money. I can't have it while I'm on an adventure. We apologize for any inconvenience, but we are currently experiencing technical difficulties. Yeah, I've lost control of my mouth. <laughs> That's alright. I really want to play with my grandpa, but he always says no. He's right over here. He's waiting for you. I have to save some money to repair the house. Okay. Alright. Interesting. Is it this house? This house has cracks in it. A lot of these houses have cracks in it. Ta 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 ta. Why did he pick this place for me? I'm so scared. There's a weird wizard man. He's late. Why? There's late people everywhere. All these people are waiting for someone. But who? Could it be not me? I could really go for a drink right now. Me and you both, friend. What about you? No, no. That's a story for another time. And what else happened, big bro? I hate how dirty the street is. It's because of that old part of town. Apparently none of you are worthy. Are you worthy? He won't. These people won't even talk to me. Okay. I see how it is. It's all good. I didn't want to talk to you either. Ah, right, let's go to the end. I'm done talking to random people. Except for maybe I'm... Trespassing beyond this point without permission is completely illegal. Please don't attempt to do it. Okay, we can't even go anywhere here. Oh, that was a nice little detour. This is a pretty big map for... How much little things there are. That's cool. That's nice that there's all this detail. It makes the town feel a little bit more alive. Is this the market? This is not it. This is the library, though. Feel free to look at the books, but if you need to take one or more home, then talk to the person at the other side of this desk. I'm sorry, sir, but could you please not talk to me at the moment? I'm busy here. Didn't you just hear the other guy just talk to? What's up, dude? The people of the past did amazing things. Why we so far behind when we're years ahead. I don't know. Oh, it's a bunny girl. I might not be the smartest person here, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> okay, good. Don't make too much noise, please. 
You're not my father. The story's quite interesting. I w will tell this to my grandchildren tonight. Not if I murdered you with my time magic. Fascinating. All the books are mine. Organized books is half of the fun. So this plan is for that. Okay. I said I was going to go to the market and talk to that girl, but I haven't done it yet. <laughs> God. I keep getting distracted. I want to talk to all the people. I want to know their stories. Here we go. The pub. Come back at night. What the? F Where was the market again? Help. Adult. Is it here? Ah, yes. The Let's talk to everybody else first. I was wondering, do you really want to study that? Yes, I love that subject. What subject? So, are we going to take that quest? 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 <laughs> What's up? The kitchen is always a mess. What's up, dude? Talk to me. Don't ignore me! Okay, it's her. You look very funny, sir. Wait! She's not the one? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't even get back out of this place. Oh, God. Please, you gotta be the one. I'm stuck. Shit! Oh! Is that the end? Is that the end of our once proud hero? I can't get out of here. Please let me out. No! What in the world? What is this? Maybe... There's gotta be a way out of here. She's not the one! But, but, no. I can't be trapped in here. Eternal doom. Uh, but I talked to everyone outside and I can't get out of here. No. Why? Well, I guess that's all she wrote because I can't seem to progress anywhere. God damn it. Is this the end of our journey? Huh? Well. Hey guys! Um, unfortunately, I think this is the end of our journey because I can't get out of this room. And I've talked to everybody, so let me try to interact with everything one more time. Can you not let me get the. Oh, you suck! <laughs> How are you not the one with the pure heart? Oh, and I can't even talk to the god dang innkeeper because he's over there looking into space. Well. <sighs> so mad about it, actually. Oh, oh, oh. Pissed. And a pissed. Let me out. Alright, we'll give this another try, god dang it. I just skipped through, like, all the cutscenes. We'll give it one more try to see if we can find our dang apprentice. If we can't, I'm gonna be actually a little bit pissed. <laughs> like, oh, mad. I think I talked to everybody. Nobody wants to be my apprentice. Can confirm. No one wants to be my god dang apprentice. Oh, a question. Oh, well, hello, young man. If you don't mind, have you seen a young blonde little girl around here? Yes. Really, then you wouldn't mind... Then would you mind telling her I'm here in front of the library for her? I can't really move too much at this age, so I would really appreciate if you could tell her to come here. Excellent. I'll wait here for her. Is that the girl? Save. You know how many blonde-haired girls there are in this thing game? But I'm assuming it's the girl that... There she is. 
Hee hee hee, I'm hiding from my grandpa, don't tell him where I am, okay? You know he looks really worried about you. Oh, he's looking for me and is worried? Oh, I hope he's not mad at me. Excuse me, sir, do you know where he is? He's in front of the library. If I, asked, if I were you, I'd hurry to see him. You're right, I'll be going. Thank you, sir. Does that do anything for my quest? To find an apprentice? Apprentice? There you are, my little sunshine. Don't do that again, okay? Oh, thank you, young man. You have helped this man, old, this old man so much. Here, have this. A potion. You didn't need to bother with this. Of course I do. Now I can be at ease. That- what? I don't need a potion. I don't- I don't need a potion. <laughs> That's surprisingly enough. Ah, why do I have to carry this stuff? What? What are you looking at? I'm sorry, I was just looking for someone. Oh, sorry, let me put this down on here. Oh god. Now who are you looking for? Oh, sorry to bother you, it's just... Come on, spit it out, I don't have all day. Well, I was looking for someone with a full a heart full of light. <laughs> you are probably looking for Nevera. Who? Who do you, how do you know that Navira has a heart full of light? Oh, I don't know anything about that, but she's just the most brilliant and helpful person in town. So if this thing about lights and hearts is full real, she was probably the most indicate most indicative person to help you with that. All right, can you lead me to where Navi this Navira is? Sorry, can't do. What? Why? What's well, one? I don't know where she's right right now, and two, she's probably helping someone right now. You can ask around tent. Um, try the inn at the south gate. She helps there a lot. Thank you, kind man. Ha! <laughs> kind man, you sure talk way too elegant. Thank God! We found a quest hook! After- Oh my God. You have to like- to t Oh, frustrating. You have to talk to people in very specific order, apparently. I had to talk to the whole town. And then their dialogue changes, apparently. So that's good, I guess. Let's go to the inn. Oh my God. Lord. I was just so... Oh. There needs to be some kind of hint at that, because I was just like, they keep saying that- Oh man, I talked to like everybody. Multiple times. What's up? Alright, where's Navira? God dang it. Welcome sir, we are ter terribly sorry, we don't have a bed at the moment. I'm not looking for a bed, I was wondering if you knew where Navira is. Oh, you're looking for Navira? I'm sorry young man, but she's not here at the moment. Hmm, and I suppose you know where she could she... Do you know where she could be right now? Well, she said some, she was going to the market, so I guess probably at one of the stores? I understand, thank you for your time. Oh no, not at all. What, by the way, what are you to her? What? Nothing. I don't even know her. I was just looking. Wait, you don't even know her? Then how are you going to recognize her? By asking? Wow, you are just... <sighs> She's a young woman, blonde and short hair, that should do it. You have my thanks. Now I shall go look for Nibiru. It was my pleasure. Say hi to her for me, please. Alright, and then we're going back to the markets. I know where the stores are. They're like over here-ish. Like this is where the shops are. But where would she be over here? Are you Navira? I know you got blonde pink hair, but... Is that her? This jerk? Dot 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 dot. Wait. That woman, does, does she? Oh my god, it was a jerk the whole time. I was like, it couldn't possibly be her. And it is her. I talked to her. She has a heart full of light. Maybe she could be... Oh, god dang it. Do you need something? Oh, um, hi? Hello, what can I do for you? Yes, um, so sorry to bother you, but are you Navira? Yes, that's me. And who are you? Well, this might sound weird, but I'm the Wizard Elagast. What? Are you telling me you're the wizard that lives alone in that huge tower? Yes, that- Hey! You, if you say it like that, that sounds bad, you know? What? <laughs> oh, sorry, it's not what you think. Well, it is you, but it's not what you think. 
It's just, are you really the wizard? Yes, and I've been lo uh, looking for you. Wait, really? Why? Don't tell me you have heard of my amazing power as an alchemist and you're here for a lesson? What? No. Wait, are you an alchemist? That's right, I'm the alchemist of this town. So what does the powerful wizard need with the powerful alchemist? <sighs> da, 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 da. I need to talk to you about something really important. Do you mind if we go to another place? Why, this is perfectly fine. The owner of this place tends to get really distracted, and that's why I help him quite often. You know what? Just to be sure, I'll do this. What was that? Simple spell. Now nobody but you can hear me. Whoa, that's impressive. Now let me ask you something. How much do you know about wizards? Um, not much, besides the old tale of wizards being immortal and pow very powerful. Well, you got that right. We are immortal and very powerful, but there's a catch with that. We need to find an apprentice to teach all and pass all of our powers, and that person has to have... Wait, do you want me to be your apprentice? Oh, you catch up quickly. I like that. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Let me finish. Person that has the potential to be an apprentice. Oh my. Yes, yes, I want to be. I'm starting to regret this. Just let me finish and then you can give me your answer, okay? Alright, alright. I'm sorry, it's just... I don't know if it's, this is just a happy coincidence or fate itself. But since I can remember, I always wanted to be a wizard's apprentice. Wait, really? Yeah, my mother used to tell me stories in, about wizards and how powerful they are. And with that power, one can do anything, even... Bring back the dead! Even what? Oh, no, nothing. Sorry, please continue. Well, let me tell you everything. Uh, and that's about it, thank God. <laughs> that's a lot of reading I would have had to do. Oh, wow, so in order to ha be an apprentice, I have to pass a trial? And what is this trial? It's a very difficult task you have to overcome. Yeah, you already... Oh, wait, her face didn't change, but I think he was talking. Yeah, you already told me that, but what is it exactly I have to do? Are you ready to know? Yes. Your trial is... What should I say? I never thought of a trial. Calm down, but think fast. What should be the trial? Elagast? I'm sorry, yes, the trial is... Ah, yes, of course. To pass this test, you have to bathe in hot water for one minute. That's a good one. That's so stupid. Why did I say that? <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. If this is my child, then I shall take it. Wait, really? I mean, great. Then let us depart immediately. But where? To my tower. Where else? It is there where your child will take place. Where do you go watch her, you creeper? Are you kidding me? I'm going to enter your tower? Calm down, we don't want people to hear this, remember? Didn't we count didn't we cast a spell so they couldn't hear us? Right, sorry, well let's get going. Right, follow me. Oh, maybe they can still hear her. Are you coming, Navera? Oh sorry, yes, I'm coming. Bro, I can't believe how long that took me. And I gave up at one point and I had to try again. Meanwhile. In the kingdom not too far away from Windrup. Oh god. My king, I gathered every high rank soldier as you demanded. Hear me out, my soldiers. I have received news of a plot against our kingdom. And we will not tolerate this kind of stupid idea and let it be fruitful. We will depart at the first light of the sun tomorrow. So go prepare everything you need. All hail King Blaine! All hail King Blaine! <laughs> okay. My liege, let me congratulate you on this decision. Taking action in this time of doubt is the most bro. Shut up! I already know that! This wizard in this pitiful town will pay for this. Pay for what? What do we do? Would you like to save? Yes. Yes. And here we are. Alright, let's go. Wait. Hmm, what is it? 
All right. So, huh. Sorry, it's just... I'm a bit nervous, that's all. Get in the tower, fool! Don't worry, if anything would happen to you during the trial, I'll be sure to prevent you. It's not like that. This feels like a big step for me in my life, you know? Not only will I take place as an apprentice, but... But... Well, I was wondering... If I pass and become your apprentice, and after all that training, I become a wizard, do I have to live the rest of my life alone like you? No. <laughs> you know, I found that question funny, and sorry if saying that is rude, but you know what? That was the same question I asked my master when I, he chose me as an apprentice. Really? Yeah, and that actually puts my mind at ease just a little bit. That actually gives me hope. Oh, uh, they're falling in love, and the answer is... Oh, right, yes. Well, you told me that it was totally up to me, as a wizard's your sole purpose. Oh, great, that actually alleviates my, most of my doubts. Well, never mind, shall we continue? Yes, of course. Great, now move along. We got a bath to take. Oh, wow, your own waterfall. <laughs> yes, you even have a waterfall inside? Yes. But that was just a little thing I did a couple decades ago, so I've been thinking about changing it. Now, if you follow me, we'll go to the bath and take your trial. This seems very perverted. Now what? Does that mean I'll have to take the trial, you know, naked? You wish to take the trial with your clothes on? Well, I certainly don't want my clothes to be wet, but if I have to be naked, do you have to be there watching me? Uh-oh. Brazzers. Fine, you know what? Keep your clothes on, and then I'll use a spell to dry you out. Does that sound fine to you? <laughs> he seems mad. Yes, thank you. Okay. This is getting rather annoying. Now, first lesson. You don't get to question my decisions until you are officially my apprentice, okay? Hmm, okay. So this is the bath where my trial is going to take place. That's right. Now if you're ready, step on the center and I'll start the count. Okay, here goes nothing. If we count to 60 for real, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> be big mad. Wait, this isn't that hot. Oh, I'm gonna turn it up. Of course not, I haven't turned up the heat yet. Wait, what? Now it's hot! <laughs> wow, Luigi! Don't worry, it's only stimulating your senses. It's not actually boiling. Your brain just thinks it's hot and your nerves feel like it is boiling. But your skin and your body in general will be fine. Ba -ta -da -ta. Ah, it still hurts! Again, it doesn't hurt your brain. Has the time started yet? Ah, yes, of course. Great! Ah. Did she do it? And thus a few seconds pass. It was almost the time for Navira's trial to be successful, but seconds before the minute. I... I... I can't take it anymore! Ha! 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 What? What are you doing? <laughs> that was... I'm sorry. No! No! Now I'll have to find another person! Wait! Please, give me another chance! Please, I'm begging you! This is everything for me, and this is what I always wanted, please! She... Does she still have a heart full of light? After this, she probably wants to kill me. I, hmm, what should I do? You have the requirements, but your mind is not strong enough yet. And that is the final part for a wizard. That's why she's gonna be your apprentice so you can teach her, Ding Dong. Please. <laughs> Take her as an apprentice? Yes, so we can advance the goddamn game. <sighs> Fine, with ever enough practice, you can overcome any problem. Besides, you almost did. It was just one or two seconds anyways. Thank you, Master. Oh -ho. Hey, I like the sound of it. Next, we'll go back and see what happens if we hit no. It'll just probably say you have to do it. Hey, I like the sound of that. <laughs> Come on, let's get you dry and ready for your initiation. Depending on how long the game is, I might forget. Alright, let's, let's start with the initiation. Oh, this is exciting. Ahem. Let me find that book over here. It has to be around here. More than 200 years and I haven't che even checked this book once. Ah, oh, there it is. Now let's have a look. 
Now I'll need you to read this. Okay. And... I can't read this. What? Oh, right. Sorry, I haven't been done it yet. Let me do this quickly. Whoa, 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 what was that? Right, I made you understand every language I know today. Then why didn't you translate when we were talking to those people? Are you kidding me? Let me see. I can read it and understand what it says. Now please read out aloud those two exact pages in front of you. Right, let's see. I who is reading this passage declare with these words my future. From this moment on, my whole purpose as an apprentice of a wizard is to obey every single order, to learn every single thing, and to prepare every single part of my body and soul to prevent the evil forces of this world to prevail. My master is my guide and also my protector, and I shall observe every ounce of knowledge, and so when the day comes, I can protect my master. So with the light that makes my heart full, I, Navir, a dark hunter, declare myself a wizard apprentice. What was your last name? Dark Hunter. She hunts the dark. Interesting. And with that, my dear, you are now officially my apprentice. And by the way, how did you say... What did you say your last name was? Dark Hunter. I'm Navira da Dark Hunter. Curious, is that your father's last name? That's right, Master. He was called Percy Dark Hunter. Whoa, I know him. Was? Yes, he passed away when I was a child. Ah, I understand. Sorry to bring that topic up all of a sudden. Don't worry, Master. It's not a problem at all. Why do you ask? Did you know my father or someone with that last name? Not really. It's just... I find it quite amusing knowing that our job as wizards is to keep the dark forces at bay. And your last name means, well... The Hunter of Darkness. What? No way! Yes, my dad used to tell me that all of our last name was meant for something great and dangerous. That's why I love the last name. Well, he appears to have been a very wise man. Yes, yes he was. But enough of this. Now you are my you are my apprentice, and with that I have your first assignment. Right. I need you to show me that what you are capable with magic. Oh, did I tell you I can't use any magic? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yes, I told you. I'm, well, I was an alchemist. Yes, an alchemist used magic too. Hehe, <laughs> I think I did forget, but I was born without magic, and the alchemy I practice is thanks to magical objects. Oh, wow. Then what do I do now? You teach her. It said at the beginning, you become a wizard. You don't born it. You're not born it. God dang it. What do you mean, master? Wizards are supposed to be born with at least a decent amount of magic. That is contrary to what the intro said. I guess I forgot to mention that part. When you told me about the alchemy, I just assumed you had a decent amount of magic. Oh, then what do we do? I'll teach you magic. That is actually a good question. Hmm. Oh. Oh, what is that? Master? Hmm, what was that? Oh, right. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's just an old habit that I have when I'm thinking. And actually... This! I think I found a solution to our problem. That's great! <laughs> hmm? What is it? Oh, nothing, nothing. Please continue. Right, now let's read this. And what are we looking for exactly? In these papers, if I remember correctly, there has a spell to pass some of my power onto you. What? Is that even possible? That's what I'm trying to remember. The thing is, I never used this spell, neither did my master, but he told me that this spell existed. And with that, I should be able to... That's right, you should be able to use magic, and with time, develop it and gain even more. That is incredible, finally. Now don't get ahead of yourself, we still need to find the way to do that. Oh, there it is. And what does it say? Hmm. Interesting. It's actually more simple than I thought it would be. Really? Yes, the fact that it only takes two components is remarkable. And what are those components? Do you need me to go to town and get everything? Hmm. Oh, right. That actually may be a great help. Oh, God! Please don't make me go back to town and talk to all the people again. Novira, this will be your first assignment. 
officially as my apprentice. I need you to go to town and buy this, these two things. Some white feathers and a bottle of red paint. Is that it? Those are the missing components I need. The other important item needed for this spell to work is in my possession. I understand, Master. I'll be right back. God, no. Not town. Anything but town. Wait, and how do you plan to pay for these items? Oh, right. I guess I'll pay them later with some of my mob... Don't be absurd. Lesson number one. A wizard always pays up front. Here, have this money. Now you can go. Right, thanks, Master. I'll be back in a moment. No! I don't want to go. I don't want to go to town. Town is awful. Da -da 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 -da. This feels really strange. Having an apprentice. It's not like I really wanted one. But I really was tired of being all alone. Sure, she may not be the best candidate, but hey. She was the only one around this part of the world. Da -da 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 -da. But this means that the clock is counting the seconds for my end. And staying alive without my any worry was the best part of that loneliness. I have to leave... I have lived since who knows when. And I... Am I the only wizard who is afraid of dying? It can't be. We are all mere humans at some point. Right? We were all humans. Then why do I have this feeling of doubt about myself? Is this what all this time being alone gets me? But I'm not alone anymore, and I ne will nev I never will be until I decide when she's ready. I guess we'll see. She has the potential to be a very powerful wizard. I mean, I've never seen such light in someone. Master, master, I'm here. Uh, oh, oh, right. I haven't teach taught her how to end her. God, is she back? Thank the Lord I didn't have to go to town. She went to town. Thank God. Thank God. Master, I can't enter. I know I'm coming. First thing first. Did you get everything? Yes. 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 I wasn't sure how many feathers you needed, so I bought a bunch. That's good. I could... We could use the remaining ones for other spells. Da 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 da. All right now. Here's how you may enter the tower without any problem. Stand next to me so you can see how the spell works. Okay. Good. Now you have to do this with your hands. And then the barrier will let you pass. Now, for you, it will not work at this moment, given that you don't have any magic, scrub. But for now, I can modify the barrier so you can enter this one time. After this, you have to do it on your own. Got it. Like this, right? Exactly. Now let's go. We have a lot to do. What's up with all these Star Davids? <laughs> okay, I guess this should be everything. Do I need to do something? Not really. I understand if you want to close your eyes, but I recommend that you keep them open. You could- you need to see as much as you can. Why would I want to close my- Oh, I guess I understand why. Well, he'll give us nothing. You are absolutely right. Whoa! That was a cool effect. Humano Humano Magic! And that should do it. So does that mean I, I finally have magic? Why don't you try it? Here, try to make a magic circle disappear. Try to focus your new energy in your right hand and do a sweep move with it. Okay, so focus the energy in my hand. And then a sweep. I, I did it. Master, I, I did it. I used magic. Indeed, and in... An impressive way, if I say so myself. And I guess I should say that I'm proud, very proud of you. Which is a very strange feeling f for me, to be honest. Ha ha ha. Mm, are you feeling alright? Your face is turning red. Could this be a side effect of the spell? Let me see. Oh. Whoa, don't. It's okay. I swear everything is okay. Are you sure? If you feel dizzy or anything, I need you to tell me, as I have never used that spell. I don't really know what comes next. I'm completely sure, don't worry about it. Fine, then with that, I call this a total success. Now we have to plan everything so you can start right away to learn about magic. But first, we should have dinner. That sounds great, I'm starving. So Master, I was wondering, do you ha wizards have any specialty? Hmm, well of course every wizard has one. Oh, and when did you speak, pick your specialty? Totally depends on the wizard. Some pick a topic one, the 
they are apprentice and others like me when we are bored to death and don't know what else to do. <laughs> you know, that doesn't sound too interesting. <laughs> well, I guess that depends on every wizard's point of view. Hmm, I wonder what I, I will pick. Easy, Navira. These things take time. I guess you're right. Oh, and talking about that, what is your specialty, Master? Oh, didn't I tell you? Well, my specialty is time magic. Hey, in fact, I just remembered when, why I was looking for an apprentice now. Oh, that sounds really powerful. Time magic? And that was actually my next question, Master. Why did you want... Why did you go looking for an apprentice in the first place? Well, I actually created a device that allows me to control time at my will. Really? That's impressive. Yes, and that is the reason why I was looking for an apprentice. You see, living alone was difficult at times. sometimes. Thinking by myself without anyone to have a second opinion or any kind of help was driving me crazy. And with that artifact created, I was generating multiple ideas in my head for how I would, could use it. And in that moment of, dis of doubt, I decided to get someone to talk about it. And that's where I come in. That's right, but for now, let's eat and we c we'll talk about this after this after the mill. Okay. Oh, by the way, Master, are you familiar with the king uh, name of King Bellin? Hmm, I think I have heard that name before. Why do you ask? I heard a rumor when I was around town earlier today. Apparently, King Bellin is moving an army and is marching in this general direction. And are you worried he might come here? You know, I'm not sure. What would a king be doing around this place? You might want to learn a few things about Windrip. It's a good town, but it has its needs. That might be it. Well, I guess we'll see. That's right. At this moment, you should have only two things in your head. Finishing dinner and preparing yourself for your le first lesson tomorrow. Right. Here as well we'll be sleeping. Feel free to make yourself comfortable. What's the problem? Are you a little tense? You seem a little tense. Are you feeling all right? Is this a side effect of the spell? We, we will sleep in the same bed? Of course, there's only one bed. And besides, I used to sleep like that with my master. Wait, really? Yes, why would I lie about that? Ah, light bulb. Oh, I get it. You're used to sleep on, on your own bed. That's fine. If you want, I can build you a room. <sighs> For someone that old... You really are an airhead, aren't you? Fine, I guess I'll have to get used to this. Airhead? What does that mean? Well, good night, Master. Ah, yes, good night, Navira. Ho ho ho! And like that, the wizard and his apprentice started learning and teaching each other <laughs> the night moves. The wizard instructed his apprentice in the ways of magic control, and Navira started to teach elegant st stuff about the world he didn't understand. Night moves. With time control magic, Elgas was able to spend what it felt like an eternity with his new apprentice. The days were weeks, the weeks were months, the months were years. In unmodified time, they spent a six months together, but for them it was almost like ten years. Jesus. They spent every possible, all their time together, eating, sleeping, even taking a bath. The wizard was more and more comfortable with the apprentice, and the apprentice was developing some feelings for the wizard that were unexpected. Oh, by the way, Navira. Yes, Master? <laughs> that's what I want to talk about. You will have to call me Master if you don't want. With my name, you can call me with my name. R really? Yes, I realize that calling me Master is way too formal. And I have learned to appreciate you for what you are. So dish the Master, okay? Oh... Okay, Elgas. That's much better. Oh, ho, ho. Everything was going well for them until one particular day. Alright, Master, what should we do today? Well, Navira, today we have some important things to do around town. Boom! Is this the tower of the wizard known as Elgast? What? Who's that? Let's see. This is the Tower of Wizard of Alagast. Who is it requiring this information? <laughs> That's an impressive voice, Alagast. I love using that spell. There's a messenger for King Berlin. It's 
This is a declaration of war against the wizard known as Elgast. What? Tomorrow at dawn, if the wizard Elgast is not in the presence of King Berlin, Berlin, <laughs> Berlin, the town known as Windrip will suffer an attack from the elite forces of the king. King Beling <laughs> will be. <laughs> well, they messed up his name too, so that's fair. We'll be waiting in this camp on the Green Valley, west of the location. For every day the wizard Elgast does not appear in front of the king, the tower will suffer. Or the town will suffer. That is the message. This has to be a joke. Wait, Elgast. Y'all about to catch some hands. Wait! What the hell was that? Declaration of war against me! I don't care about you. I'm only here to deliver the message from His Majesty himself. And you come here and you give me no reason for this? I'm just here to finish my duty as an elite member of His Majesty's army. I guess I will see you tomorrow, wizard, or you can die today. Wait. And with some time magic, dog. Oh, guess what was that? I heard all of it. What are they planning to do? I let's talk about this at the library. You're right. Let's go. So first things first, do you have any idea what's going on? Not at all. The only thing I can remember right now is the rumor you heard the first day you were here. Oh, that's right. The rumor of the king of Bil of that of King Blin coming in this direction. I don't even know why. I never met that man or did anything to his kingdom. Oh, guess do you think do you think it's because of the great evil? Now that you mention that, it has to be. There's no other explanation. But why me? After all this time trying to avoid that simple fact, why does it have to be me? Maybe. Maybe it's because of that. The great evil thinks you're a perfect target, only because apparently you are the only wizard who's about ready. What? Of course, you are absolutely right. The evil doesn't know I am ready, and probably doesn't know I have you. Huh? How can you be so sure about that? The message was for me, the wizard Elgast, not to Elgast and Navira. Hmm, maybe he doesn't think I'm that important. Ha! Not important, you are the most important person to... Hmm. What? What's that? I mean, you, you are my apprentice after all. And I know something that you don't know. Well, yeah, a bunch of stuff, but is something particular related to this situation? Yes, actually, and it's about you. What? Do you know why I chose you? If I remember correctly, it was because I was the only one in town to have all or at least most of the requirements to be your apprentice. That's right. At least at the that's the core of the idea. But there's something more important than that. The main thing that had me completely sure about you was your heart. More specific, the light inside your heart. My light? Ha, ah, there it is. <laughs> the amount of light in your heart hasn't dimmed a bit since the very first moment I saw you. In fact, I believe it has grown with the passing of time. And that is really important because I never met someone with such an immense amount of light. And do you remember what... Do you remember what... That means? The light in the heart of a wizard is equal to its power. More light means more power. But wait... Does that mean I, I'm a powerful wizard? Yes, bing bong. It means you are the most powerful wizard I have ever known. You're even more powerful than my master. But, but how? I was born without any magic and I was, it was like that when we met. No, Navira, you were born with an extreme, extreme amount of power, but it was sealed for your own benefit. Well, what? My master was the one that sealed your, what, <laughs> what? Sealed your powers. How do you know that? How do you know that? He told me to, and he also- What? What is this? And he also made me keep it a secret. And it was a big- What is this plot? This is a plot- Oh my god. He didn't even know who she was. I had to look hours for her. And now she, he knew her the whole time. It was a big surprise when you told me your last name. I was almost in... Okay, he didn't know who she was until later, I guess. I, I don't know. Although I thought he left some magic for you to use. Why? Yeah, I'm sorry. Master, I can't keep it a secret any longer. 
because of my master, also known as Percy Dark Hunter. What? My father? My father was a wizard and he, he was your master? I'm sorry, I know this was probably not the best time or place to tell you that, but I feel it is important. Yeah, it is important. Why, why did my father never tell me about this? Even my mother never mentioned it. He believed this was the best way for you to grow as a normal person. And then you would have the freedom to choose your own path. And trust me, that is the best way to do it. Wait, what do you mean by that? Now everybody got to choose. That is a story for another time. For now we got have to think about what we were going to do about this King Boleyn situation. We now know that we could... Now we can take advantage of the moment, all thanks to you. Da, 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 da. And with that, we could actually think of something. And fear, is everything okay? No, I don't think so. Hey, if you need to let it out of. Need to. I don't know, let it out of your chest, I guess. Just say it. Get something off your chest, there we go. I'm here for you, remember? I'm your master, and it is my duty to keep you safe. Thanks, Elgas, but I think I need some time to think alone. Oh no! She's leaving us! Damn it! Da 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 Nibir, are you alright? I heard you said time alone and I was like, hey, I should come too. <laughs> I... I don't know. I'm sorry, but I had to keep the secret. I promised my master. It's not that. In fact, I'm actually really grateful with you. Grateful, Elgas, for you telling me this. What has me this way is my parents. I still can't believe my dad stole my magic. All of the things I had to pass through life with not having magic. It was really hard not being able to do stuff other kids could do so easily. And they made fun of me for not being able to do it. And I get the idea, but I still feel kind of betrayed for not having the opportunity to choose if I wanted a normal life or not. I know it's hard to understand my feelings right now, but I'm wondering, am I wrong to feel this way? Of course not. Feeling like this is the proof that you are a person, and that is what your dad wanted. Or at least I think it was. Being born with magic and ha and having your life decided for you since the day you were born, it's not pretty either. Is is that what happened to you, Elgast? Now is the time for that story we heard we would tell at another time. Well, I think you now know the reason why I always hated the job of wizard. Wait. Is that why your specialty is time magic? You want to travel back in time and change that? Heh, <laughs> I think I taught you well, didn't I? <laughs> 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 no one has gotten to you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's just you really like to have everything planned. And that's one of the things I really love about you. <laughs> well, what can I say? I like to keep. I like to keep things organized. No, you don't. I have to pick your up your mess all the time. <laughs> Thank you, Ma thank you, Master Elgast. You're welcome. I'm happy that you feel better already. Yeah, I guess fresh air does help in these type of situations, doesn't it? Oh, you're absolutely correct. Now, what are we going to do with this king problem? Alright, King Boleyn. Well, I suppose we can't let them attack Windrup. We have to be ready to face him and his elite army, don't we? Yeah, let's give him a lesson he'll never forget. Now, now, remember, this isn't about violence. We have to keep peace at all cost. Right, sorry, I just got carried away. Then, what are we going to do next? I guess we'll have to pay his highness a visit, right? Lead the way, master. Here we go. First things first, we should go to town to see how everyone is doing. No, please, God, not town! That's a great idea. Should we cover, split it to cover more space? No, I don't want to give this great evil an opportunity to do something first, so we should stay, keep together at all times. You're right. Okay, we should get going. 
No, I don't want to go to town. I don't like town. No. <laughs> I'm still trail shocked from town. This music I am. Our king is waiting for you, wizard. Do you want to enter? Yes. Open the path. The wizard is coming. Did they open the path? Yes, open the path. They came out of nowhere, and they, now they're closing every exit to town. What is going on here? Like, the exits to town weren't already closed, you weirdo. Do we gotta really go talk to everybody again? Do you know about the army? I have no idea what's going to happen. I should go evacuate the town. You should do the same. I don't think even I could handle that many soldiers. Oh dear, what is all this commotion? Good woman, you should go with your loved ones and evacuate the town. And why is that? There's going to be a battle tomorrow morning, so go and evacuate as fast as you can. Alright, thank you, young man. Okay, we gotta evacuate everybody. Okay. We can do it. We can fight, we can win, we can do it. After this little break, I'm going to help with the soldiers. This army thing is not fun at all. Get out of here. Come on, brother, let's go play. I told you already, we have to leave. Excuse me, young man, but can you tell me where the church is? Of course, you have to follow the path to the west and you'll find it. Oh, thank you, sir, you're very kind. Get out of here, go on, get. I wonder if I should go to the church or outside town. The end's closed. Oh god, there's more people at the gates. I'm just hoping this isn't the last time I see this. God, he is fixated on that. Nobody can enter without a permit. We just want to go to a safe place. What is the meaning of this? I don't really want to go. Let us pass. How long are we going to wait? I just want to get out. Don't push. Just calm down. I wonder if the chunky man's still over here. It's like, give me food. Get out of here, old lady. Oh, Navira, it's good to see you. Can you help me with something? Oh, sure. What do you need? I dropped a key to my house somewhere around the north gate, and I can't get to my house and take some stuff to go seek shelter. No problem, ma'am. We'll get that key right away. Thank you, my sweet girl. God, now we got a mission? Get out of here. North gate. I think that's... Get out of here. I hope nothing happens to my house while I'm not around. Ooh, how long is this kid going to keep me waiting here? We need to go! I'm just saying goodbye to this house before leaving. North Gate would be up here, right? This looks like a North Gate. I hope the church has some drinks. I don't think so, bro. Did you pack all your stuff? Yes, big bro, I have everything. She's just sweeping. I can't imagine how messy this is going to get without anyone to clean. <laughs> Alright, we're looking for a key. Are you Northgate or nah? I guess that's a nah. Let's go south real quick. I don't know where the North Gate is, to be honest with you. I knew those rumors were real. Dun, 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 dun. This music got real though. Alright. The bank! What? The bank's closed. What if that girl was still over here and she was like the last person you had to get so I get stuck? I'm too scared to go into the end, bro. What if I get stuck? I guess I could save. All this evacuating thing is getting me really hungry. Alright, chunker. God dang, calm down, boy. Where is the key that would be around the north gate? Where is the north gate? Send help. Is this near north gate? Oh, she left her... Excuse me. Gosh. Please, can you help me find my little brother? Sure, where could he be? We live in the southeast side of town, next to the bank. 
I think he has to be around there looking for his things. Don't worry, we'll find him. I just came from there. Where's the north gate? You should hurry and get to the church. They're not mine. Where's the key at? I told you like a hundred times yes. Did you get everything? They're so arguing. Yo, you need to get out of here. Welcome, what can I do for you? You need to get out of here. There's so many interesting things here. Where's the north gate though? These people did not change their messages at all. I guess they just don't think they're getting attacked, apparently. So. You know, the shop people, they don't give a crap. They're like, eh, whatever. Is this the north gate? Lo siento, senor. What about you? Why do I have to carry the heavy stuff? These people didn't change at all. You got a key? It's my guard at the moment. I don't have any... Yeah, they really did not. I guess we weren't supposed to come over here. They're not evacuating. They're hunkered down. Where is North Gate? I thought I evacuated you. Have a good day, my boy. What? I don't know where the North Gate is. How am I supposed to find the key? Everything turned back to normal. What? Did that break it? Oh no. What in the world? Ah, oh, god damn it! Ah, oh, broke the fucking. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Oh no! Okay, round two, and we freaking saved this time. We're not gonna save over file two because there's a bad ending to this game that I'll probably do as well. I'm not gonna spend as much time talking to these people. But yeah, uh, if you do, uh, I don't know how it broke last time, but it really sucked. I was not a big fan. Don't speed run this part. So the glitch I think happened because I went too far north and um, the shop keeps didn't change their chat dialogue and it kind of reset the world to when I was looking for Nibiru, which is not what we wanted. Thus making it impossible to advance. Alright, she said he's in the southeast. This is southeast-ish. Hi, dude. Alright, he's not the one apparently. There he is. What's up? Young man, your sister is not here. In fact, she's waiting for you at the church. Oh, then I guess I should go. Thank you, old man. What? Oh, man? Do I look that old? <laughs> I guess that's how kids talk these days. Get out of here, kid. Scram. So I still don't know where that lady's key is though, for the north gate. To be honest with you, I have no idea where that is. This is apparently is not north gate even though it's the only gate I've seen in the game. Oh, thank god! Here, these are the glasses we were looking for. Who was looking for glasses? I was looking for a key! 
I hope these glasses are what we need. I think she was looking for a key though, not glasses. What? Oh, thank you so much, sweet Navira. I don't know what this town would be without you. You give me way too much credit, ma'am. Now go, you should go, hurry up and pack up your stuff. You're right, please Navira, get to a safe place. I'll pray to see you later. Let's save. Alright, who hasn't evacuated yet? Maybe I should go into church now. Are we missing anybody? Sorry to make you worry, big sis. Oh, thank you so much. And you, why did you run like that when I told you not to run? But the important thing is you're safe. Now let's get to safety. Hooray. Well, I think everyone is, go or is or is going to be safe. Now we should get going first to the tower and then Green Valley. Are we going to get supplies just in case? That's right. A wizard should always be prepared for an occasion. Don't forget that. Thank God. God dang. So what exactly so what exactly are we going to do when we're in front of the king and the great evil? Well first find out what they want. And if it's something that will bring chaos and destruction, we need to stop whatever they have in mind. Right, Nick. How exactly are we going to stop those evil plans? <laughs> That's when this little device comes in handy. Is that what I think it is? That's right, this is a little artifact I created that allows me to control time. We can use this to stop anything they throw at us. I see, that's actually a really good plan, almost like we are untouchable. And that's the idea, I don't want you to be at harm at any moment, so I bring this as a last resort. Hey, remember, I'm not the same weak woman you once knew, I'm totally capable of taking care of my own, all thanks to you. I know you are, and I'm so proud of you for that. But what I don't trust is a great evil, so you can never be cautious enough. I guess you're right. Alright, let's get moving. Wait, Alagast. What? I'm pregnant! <laughs> Wouldn't that be a plot twist? There's something I want to say before we go. Alright, I'm listening. There's something I wanted to tell you for a long time. Since the day we met and you brought me to this tower, I started to feel happy like I've never felt before. When you, when you gave me the opportunity to become your apprentice, I felt like I was finally needed and useful for someone. So what I'm trying to say is, thank you for giving me a second life, a life of happiness. Hey, you're still in my lines. Since you entered my life, I haven't felt that eternal loneliness I had every moment of my life. I have almost forgot what being isolated feels like. And the light that you emanate is that light I needed so desperately in my life. What are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is... Is the wizard Elgast in the house? You, uh. come on, really, wait! Something wrong, Elgast? Come on, Elgast, I only want to talk. This voice, I've heard it before. What voice? Wait, you can't hear it? I can only hear you, Alagas. What? Cocoon! What was that? I don't know. We better get outside and take a look. Alagas, we have a long conversation pending. Now, what's going on in here? Alagas, I don't see or feel anyone around here. Hello, hello, dear Alagas. How have you been? I heard that. Of course you did, my dear Navira. You had the power to hear me too. Who are you? Show yourself. Now, now, dear Elgast, don't be so impatient, my boy. I came all the way here just to see you one last time. What? Why does this voice sound so familiar? Oh, don't say that. You'll break my dark, twisted heart. You don't remember me. Wait, don't tell me you. You do remember me. Oh, if I wasn't so evil, I'd be so happy right now. Are, are you the great evil? Bingo! Oh, dear Navira, how I've waited for you. This is going to be so... What word am I looking for? Oh, that's right. Refreshing. Well, don't just stand there. Couple kids that are grounded. Come on, I'm waiting for you. So you're the reason King Berlin is here. Did you expect someone else, honey? 
That old fool can't change his clothes without any help. Now be a good pair of wizards and come to me right now. I have a surprise for you that I can't wait to share. See you soon! Looks like we never had the element of surprise, huh? Elgast, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine, and you are right. Now is now. Now it knows you are here. But I can, we can still surprise it with the time magic. Yeah, we still have that. We have each other, right? That makes it two against one. I mean, I don't think the king's army is the biggest threat to us. You're right. Now I think we should get going. Okay. Lordy, lordy. It's leading to the final and only battle. Would you like to save? Yes. The good ending. We got the good ending. Our king is waiting for you, wizard. Do you want to enter? Yes. Open the path. The wizard is coming. What's up, guys? Oh, they don't want to talk to me? Prepare to get freaking... punked, son. I'm not talking to all these people. I ain't got time for that. They don't even talk anyways. Who dares step in his king highness King Bellin's new territory? I'm the wizard Elgast, and I have been summoned by your king. See, you're the wizard, huh? Fine, I'll let pay you pass, but not the woman. What? Why not? I have orders of only to only let the wizard pass. She comes with me. If you don't let her pass, you'll suffer the terrible consequences. Fine, you may enter, woman. Well, that was easy. Psych! And then they get in the way. I'm the wizard known as Elgast, and I have been summoned by King Bellin. So you finally show your face. And who is that, your protege? She's my... I'm the apprentice of the powerful wizard known as Elgast. My name is Navira Dark Hunter. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, you took an apprentice? You the lonely wizard? Ha ha ha. Now that is a sight you don't see every day. You're going to be fine. We are together. Remember that? You're right, thank you. Now may I ask you what is the meaning of this sun summoning? Do not dare play dumb and hear you boy. I got information about a plot to attack my kingdom and me. And according to my sources, you are the center of all of this. It's a blonde dude. What? What kind of Gnosis is that? I've never created anything like that. I'm a wizard and my job is to keep evil at bay. And that is why you plan an attack against me. Now take whatever you have and battle me so we can end this once and for all. I'm not going to battle against you, especially when you're just a human. Oh, you dare underestimate me? Then you really are the lonely wizard. What do you mean by that? Ha ha ha, he doesn't, really does not know. I do not have a problem facing a wizard. Because I have killed many with my sword. What? The gods themselves have granted me the power to kill wizards. And now you are the next on the list. But I am a king that wants to keep my servants happy, so I will let them see our combat. Follow me, wizard, so I can show you my power. I'm not going to fight you. What did you just say? I said I'm not going to fight you. Oh, but you are. <laughs> if you do not fight me, then that stupid town burns to ashes. Now, you do you understand? You have no other choice but to die by my hand. My king, if you were so kind to let me say a few words. Huh? What do you want, Baldo? What a stupid name. I am so sorry to interrupt you, my king. I just wanted to say one last thing to the wizard before you kill him. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Thank you, my liege. I just want you to remember this is what you get for not taking care of your job, my dear Elgas. You. Oh my god. Th that is all, my liege. Right, now to the battle arena. I have to prepare it for, for your grave. Elgas, is this truly alright? I hope it is. I guess this fight is a one-on-one, -on -one, so be ready. When the time comes to fight the great evil, we need the to be together. Understood. Now cease this sword conversation and let us go fight. Alright, let's do it. I'm ready. Now, are you ready to die, wizard? You know, I only say this because Navira is here with me. But I will give you one last chance to stop this and leave. 
Ta 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 ta. <laughs> you saying that? It feels like you know you can win this fight, but I'm afraid you cannot. Now prepare to die. Holocaust! Whoa, King Emerge! Now suffer the same fate many other wizards have suffered. Magic. Nuclear. Eat nuclear, boy. King of Slay! <laughs> Elgast was victorious! B -b -b how How did you defeat me? Perhaps I can answer that question, my liege. You see, my king, the power you had to defeat wizards was not yours. It was actually me who gave you power with my magic. What? Yeah, so now you have completed your function. You bought me Elgast, and because of that, now you die. Whoa! No! Hello, gas, the time magic! Yes! Oh, Satan. That's not good. We're gonna have to hit him with some nuclear, too. Welcome, my dear Hello, gas. I'm so happy you can join me. What? Wait, where am I? Navina? Where is Navira? What did you do to her? Me? I didn't do anything. In fact, it was you who did all this. What do you mean? You know, I always found it very funny how the things came to up to be. You see, it's quite obvious this is not my real form, right? Of course not, you are the great evil. The fact thing I as a wizard have to keep at bay. In fact, this might be the best opportunity I'll have to do that. Why don't you stand still while I make you disappear? Oh, please be my guest. Then don't mind if I do. What? What? I can't use my magic. Oh, poor little Elgast. Can't do the only thing he's good at. That's a real shame. What the hell's going on? Well, if you really want to know, let me explain it to you, Airhead. But for you to understand the situation- Oh god, no, please. I have to tell you a little origin story, hee <laughs> hee. Origin? Wait, your origin? That's right, silly, or should I call you... Father? What? Oh, you went back in time. D d do you just call me your father? Hmm. Do you prefer dad or papa? No, what? What do you mean I'm your father? Oh, my bad, I totally forgot. You aren't the brightest wizard on the block. You can relax. It's not like you had a baby and boom, here I am not. I'm not your biological child, and no, you didn't adopt me. In fact, I'm not even human. Not a human? You're the worst child. I am an ethereal being made out of pure magic. And wait a second, you haven't figured it out yet, have you? I would love to have a smart answer, but now I have no idea what's going on. <sighs> as useless as always. You created me. What is the only thing you have created in your miserable, lonely life? The time device. Oh, I see you're starting to connect the dots. That's right, I am what you call the time core of magic. I am a ma I am magic itself, time itself. I am the only living thing that can be everywhere and nowhere at the same time. What about Schrodinger's cat? Got him. And yes, I am the same thing that you have activated trying to save that useless king. That is why I exist since the beginning of time. And that is why we are in this tiny piece of nothing. Because even as older as I am, this reality itself is older. So that means I can't break some rules of nature. And how did you end up like this, being the living representation of evil? Oh, that is because of you! You see, you used me without any knowledge of magic that was inside that thing and that it was alive. But how could you? Magic is not a living thing, is it? It's just magic. Well... That's where you and the rest of those pathetic wizards are wrong. Magic is a living thing, just like you, Navira, and plants. Magic is more like water, not a living being itself, but made out of tiny li little living beings. And the way you and your kind used magic over the years, oh, let me tell you. It wasn't pretty sure there were th some amazing things, but, but, but what? He, if you have to ask, that is part because you are part of the problem. Magic is not to take like it is 
Uh, magic is not something to take for granted. And in all this time, not even one single wizard or even a single person has taken care of magic as it is supposed to as they are supposed to. And how is this supposed to be? If you want, I can teach you, but... But I guess it's too late for that. Because of that, I am a pure evil living thing. So I am sorry, but I have to do this. What are you... I'm going to be born, Dad! <laughs> what? Did he just affect my semen? So now when I... Bang Devere, he's gonna come out? What? What just happened? No! I'm still in the same place! Hey, is someone here? I am, Father! What? And I am sorry, or am I? Sorry for what? Ah, you're so naive! I'm going to kill you! What? Well, not if I can defend myself from you. My magic! Oh, no! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Thank you for creating me, by the way. I guess that is the only thing you did right with your life. That is not true. Navira, he took me as... God, I'm running out of breath. He took me as an apprentice, and I think that is the best thing he has done. What? You're not supposed to be here. How did you cross dimensions? I just felt a warm feeling in my chest, and I used my light to guide me to where it wants to be, next to Elgast. Oh, and I would not like to be anywhere else myself, except for out of this place. Aww. Well, you two sweethearts, I'm sorry, but I'm still going to kill Elagast. And now that you're here, Navira, I don't see why I shouldn't kill you too. Oh, please, be my guest. What? Now this? What are you? And, you know, no, no, you can't just come in here and break everything. <sighs> That's because she's the total opposite of you. What do you mean? I understand that it, in the... <sighs> that just moments ago, and Elagast is right. I'm near opposite, because I am a being of pure magic too. What? But I am made of light and love. What is it with these revelations that come out of nowhere? These jerky... Oh, so you and I are equals? We are the same, but different. And I am the living example of how you can be too. You just have to see that there is still good in people. Nonsense! How could there be good in people when they don't even treat us properly? Avera. I'm sorry you had to live such a sad life, and trust me, I had to grow without knowing who or what I was. But this is what makes us living creatures, not knowing and having the ability to learn. Seeing having mistakes is, and see having mistakes is what makes us humans. Don't compare me with those creatures! If you didn't want to live and learn from them, then why did you choose that form? Because I know they will reject me for what I truly am. Some people will reject you even in this form, trust me. That happened to me. But we have to learn to live with it. With that. It doesn't always look good, but with time, everything can become worth it. Right, Master? I guess I was right. You are the most powerful wizard of all, and she's right. In fact, I would want to apologize. You have the right to be mad with me, and with us wizards, and humans. Although I don't consent with what you have done, but everyone can start. But everyone can start over. Let things in the past. Let things be in the past and learn to live a new life. And I want to offer you that. I want to give you a way to learn how good we can all be. So one day you can be too. And what? You're going to adopt me like a child and raise me like your own? Yeah, sure. Hey, that's not a bad idea, but I was thinking you should go and explore this world. Learn on your learn on your way the best way learn on your own is the best way to see how things really are in this world. You always have a home in my t or when you want to come visit my R Tower. That sounds like a good idea to me. In fact I want to travel too. We could do that at some point. So are you really expecting me to forgive my suffering and just go and learn? Are you too out of your mind? Of course not. That suffering is what you need to grow as a living thing. Yeah, it hurts. But that is what makes you stronger. Hey, not bad. I remember teaching you that. <laughs> Come with us if you want to, Ewen. Did we just name him? Did you just call me by my name? How do we know his name? Your name is Ewen? That's the name I gave to the artifact I created. 
Hmm, you're just as naive as always. Fine, I'll play by your rules and I'm going to let everything be. But just to be clear, I'm doing this because I'm really curious to see if there's really good people in this world. Not because you told me to. There you go. Really, wait. You're curious about that? Well, after all, I'm still your child, right? Yeah, I guess you're right. Looks like the apple doesn't fall from the tree, huh? Thank you, Ewan. I really appreciate this decision. Again, I'm not making this because of you two, so quit it with that. Alright, as you wish, but... What are we going to do with King Bellin? Oh, don't worry, I didn't kill him. I just needed to look like I did so you could activate me. And I really will take care of that problem so you don't have to worry about a thing. Well, I guess it's a goodbye for now. Yeah! You know, you can visit us anytime, okay? I know, I know. And thanks, Dad! <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, time to fix some things up. See you later! <laughs> Take care, Ewan. You too, Mom! I mean, you too, Mom! <laughs> Wait, did he call you Mom? This game was made for the narrative Game Jam 1. All the names and situations are based on fi and any relationships with the real situations are pure coincidence. The game was made by JDR2 Lambo. Almost all of the resources were made by them with the special thanks to Lindor, Seder, Ayin, Community DLC Pack, and it's too fast for me to read. You have reached the end. This is the consider the true ending. This is consider the true ending, but there's still one ending you can watch. Please replay the game to see the other side of the story. Thank you for playing. Please leave a comment on the HIO page of this game so I can know what you think about it. And I will do that. I'm going to do the other ending now. It's the darker ending, so if you don't want to see the darker ending, thanks for watching as always. And if you would, please like and subscribe, but I'm going to do the dark ending now. Oh, so much reading. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Oh. Alright, so we gotta skip to the bass scene, and you can actually not take her as an apprentice, and it actually gives you a whole another ending, so that's what we're gonna do now. I was, when the, the game messed up on me the second time, that's when I found that, it, that wasn't just like a, I like that, it actually is like a different option you could choose instead of it being like, oh, you can't click that, like giving you one of those false questions, where it's like, you could click it, but that's not what you're able to do, but in this one, you can actually do it. Surprisingly, I gotta get my breath. I'm gonna get my breath back while this is going through this. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Ah, here we go. <sighs> I can't take you as an apprentice. It's clear to me that you like the strength and do this. I'll dry you up as promised. After that, leave and forget this ever happened. No, wait, please, I beg. Enough! You can't handle this. This! Living for who knows how long. If you can't handle this trial, that means you'll go mad with the fact of being alone. What? But you said that it was optional. I don't have to be all alone like you. Get out of my tower! Fine. Sorry to disappoint you. Wow! After f failing to obtain an apprentice, the wizard isolated himself from everyone. He used his new Discover Time magic to keep himself from feeling hungry or sleepy. And he decided to spend his days investigating the new power he created. There has to be a way to control it more efficiently. Using the time magic, he started to lose track of time itself. That could have been years for him, where only days or hours for the rest of the world. At some point, the wizard just stopped caring all about it. So, if I can make time move more slow for me, could it work for others? I guess I'll never know, because I'm a dick. 
He took a routine took a routine bath every day at night so he could relax for a moment, but his mind was still going at full speed. And with that, I can control time with even more precision. But if that is the case, I still haven't thought of a practical way to use this power beyond just using it for studying. Wait, and what if I try to go back to to go back in time? The wizard was getting excited with that idea. And at the same time, he was getting more and more scared with the new power he created. I have to do some reading before going to bed. He had an idea in his mind. To go back in time was the only thing keeping him at going at this point. Nothing! Nothing! What he was gaining in knowledge, he was losing in his own soul. Wait, there it is! That is the answer! But soon, his thought w the thoughts were going to find an abrupt stop. He did experiment after experiment, trying to find a way to travel back in time. Why? Why is this not working? I just, I just want to go back and fix everything. I should have let her stay. I should have tried to stop her from leaving. Now I lost every single chance of having someone to just talk. His mind was filled with regret, and his heart was starting to lose what his central light needed for a wizard to... For what was needed to be a wizard. I didn't even want an apprentice, but I need someone. I can't do this alone. Oh, but I can! There is a way! Of course, I just have to keep trying this time travel thing, and then I can go back as far as that moment, the moment that started all this. There were some nights when dinner will be, would be on his plate, but not he wouldn't eat it. He would just sum was submerged in his own mind. Before trying to go back in time, I have to remember every detail with precision, to not make any mistakes. And then, this will be as it never was. I will have a normal life and escape from all of this. He was trying really hard to remember every moment, but every second it passed, the time's magic's flow got him more and more disoriented. Until one day, a day where, where his past, present, and future catches up to him, all at the same time. Hmm. W what am I doing in here? Is this a... Is this the tower of the wizard known as Elgast? That, that is me, right? I repeat, is this the tower of the wizard known as Elgast? Yes, this is the wizard to Elgast Tower. Who's inquiring this information? You have a message from King Belen. Who? The message says, to so the wizard Elgast, I've surrounded the town of Windrip with my army. If you don't want anything to happen to this town, come to, my, come to me in Green Valley. You have until tomorrow at dawn. That is all. The message has been delivered. Wait! I'm telling you to wait. Who are you or this King Belen you're talking about? I'm just a messenger of the Royal Highness King Belen. And he's the king of the Southlands, conqueror of the lands, and killer of wizards. What did you just say? You heard me, wizard. Now I shall retire. My mission is complete. Wait! Now, what do I do? If I don't go, the town gets attacked. And they'll probably attack my tower. But if I go, they'll try to fight me. And that messenger said that ki this King Belen is known as the killer of wizards. What should I do? What should I do? I guess I'll have to find out what he wants myself. And so the wizard decided to go into this declaration of war by himself. And I have to go now. Alright, we're almost there, boys. This is leading to the final and only battle. Would you like to save? Yes. Alright. Our king is waiting for you, wizard. Do you want to enter? Yes, I do. Open the path. The wizard is coming. It is I, the wizard. <laughs> this was a good game, though. I like the story. It could be a little, like, flesh things out a little bit more because it kind of just is very abrupt with, like, its plot hooks. Like... <laughs> Who dares stepping? Who dares step in His Highness King Belen's new territory? I'm the Wizard Elgas, and I have been summoned by your king. So you're the wizard, huh? Fine, I'll let you pass. Okay, thanks. What? What's he doing here? I haven't used my magic. I'm the wizard known as Elgas, and I have been summoned by King Belen. So you finally show your face. Now tell me why am I here in the first place? Oh, is that how you address to the king? 
This is how I address people that don't deserve my time. Ha <laughs> ha did you hear that, Baldo? I'm not worthy of his time. I heard him loud and clear, my liege. Wait, your voice, it sounds so familiar. Now, wizard, do not play innocent with me. I am here because I know you were planning a scheme to attack me. What, I have no idea what you talk... Do not treat me like a fool. My very important source has informed me of this plan to destabilize my kingdom by assassinating me. And due to my, me being a king who only looks for the happiness and wealth of my people, I had to take a decision, make a decision. That decision is, instead of waiting for that puny wizard to take my head, I should go to him and take his head off. You see, wizards, heavens, heavens above have given me an extraordinary power to the ability to kill wizards. And it has been quite a lot of wizards I have the pleasure to get of killing. The fact you will be number 10. 12. God, well, <laughs> too much rating. And as a merciful king that I am, I will let you fight one-on-one -on -one against me in an arena I prepared just for you. Now follow me to your death. What makes you think I'll follow you? Why? If I can kill you here, why wait? What? Whoa! Whoa, Luigi! King Bellin! I guess it's time to use this. My time magic. Yes! <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> yes! Welcome, my dear old guest. I'm so happy you can join me. What? Wait, where am I? God dang it. What did you do to this place? Me? I didn't do anything. In fact, I, it was you the one that did all this. What do you mean? You know I was all found... I always found it very funny how things came up, came to be. Oh god, this is the same thing. We've already read this. And when we get to a question... When we get past, like, what he already said... You see, one little day many moons ago... There was a little wizard, one that was trying to create something totally new. That's different. And in that peaceful day, he created a new type of magic. But little did he know that creating this type of magic was a mistake, one that he'll soon regret with all his heart. And wait until I reach the best part. The little wizard wasn't aware of the thing that was inside his creation. He was messing with something no other wizard had done in the past. And guess what? That little wizard was you! Congratulations, you are the winner! Or should I say you are... My father. What? What? Did you just call me your father? Yes, or would you... Uh, this same. But, but are you my... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm not your biological child. In fact, I was always alive and you created what I am today. Let me explain in terms that you may understand. I am a being of pure magic, and maybe, well, you certainly don't know, not you or any other wizard, but magic is a living being. Got it. Oh yes, magic is- I uh, got that. Well, maybe not like those things. Maybe magic is more- I uh, got that. It is made of tiny, lovely things. That is me. And why are you telling me all this? How did you become the source of all evil? You really don't know, do you? Do you think if I knew I would be asking you about it? All right, buckle up, because this is going to be very, very intense. But first, I have to be born. What? Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go. He's doing it again. Hooray. What, what just happened? Still in the same place. Hey, is someone here? I am here, father. And I'm sorry, or am I? Sorry for what? Ah, you're so naive. I'm going to kill you. What? Well, not if I can fit myself from you. <sighs> Wait, my magic. It's not working. Why? Poor little Elgast. He spent his whole entire life trying to learn. But when he most needed his mind and heart, these things failed. What did you do to me? Again, Father, I didn't do anything. You did this to yourself. That is the proof. You are blinded by anger. You are losing your light. And what is a wizard without his light? Ah, I see. You already realized. But how did this end like this? Man, you really are something. Do I have to explain everything? No, I think I know the answer. It was because I was alone all this time, right? You are correct. The isolation you put yourself in was your own demise. That made a terrible mistake not taking her as my apprentice. Oh, that's right, the alchemist. I totally forgot about her. 
Well, I guess it's not, not only your powers are broken, but also your spirit. And I guess this is the end. Very perceptive. And well, I did say I was going to kill you, but I think I have a better idea. What are you going to do to me? Never had the opportunity to thank you for creating me, so I thought, why do I have to kill him? When he can serve me as an eternal source of power. Now, Father, let us be together as one. Alright, whatever. Thank you for creating me and serving as my source of chaos and destruction. So this is how everything ends. Surrounded by nothing. Floating in darkness for all eternity. What a ride. I guess it could have been worse, but I just gave it the only piece it was missing to do whatever it wants. And if what it said is true, then I guess it's over for everyone. All of this is my fault. Now there is nothing I can do to fix this. I guess being all alone was a terrible mistake. Well, I suppose I have to confront my punishment. Alone. The other ending. We did it. Alright, guys. Oh, we made it through it all, and I'm still breathing somehow. That was a lot to read, but I did really enjoy the story. I thought it was really... It was well done by the creators. Um... There could be a little bit more explanation because it just kind of like seemed like there's a lot brought out of nothing. Like the alchemist being such an important character. You have reached the end, but this is what is called the bad ending. I already did it. Um, but overall, the characters were cool. I really liked the re relationship with Elgast and the girl. Um, there's not much playing in this game. It's kind of like a visual novel with uh, pixel graphics. The ta There were some glitches. There was the one in the town where... If you go in the ant or the whatever the market or whatever it is, you get stuck. You can't leave it. Um, you have to talk to everyone in the town to get certain interactions. It seems um, so you can progress the plot. That was really annoying. And um, if you go all the way to the left and up to the market, like to the very top of the market, and you go right, then it restarts the event when the town's supposed to be like under siege and whatnot. So you can't do the ending. <laughs> so that was really annoying as well. I should have saved, but whatever. But yeah, if you like videos like these, I think I already said it, but please like and subscribe. Um, 